Hey guys, I am Victoria Nebeli, and today I'm going to be considering the question that says, how can developers collaborate with designers? Very interesting question. So for us to consider this, we have to remind ourselves who a front-end developer is, who a designer is, the difference between both a front-end developer and a designer, why developers need designers in the first place, and of course, how they can collaborate with designers, right? How the developers can collaborate with designers effectively and peacefully. Yeah. So the first question, who is a front-end developer, right? So a front-end developer is actually um, a person that builds the front-end portion of a website and web application, right? That is the part that the user sees and interacts with, right? So when you have Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, Google, every single thing you see and interact with, right? That is the front end. That is what the front end, that is the user interface, right? You get to interact with those things. Every single thing you see and interact with is being built by the front end developer, right? So yeah, so now we know what, now we know who a front end developer is. Let's know who a designer is. A designer is actually someone that prepares drawing or plans to plan the look and workings of something before it is made, right? They might create user-friendly website designs from scratch, or they might work for a brand and contribute user-facing assets and graphics that appear across a site or app, such as graphics, icons, images, logos, and more. A web designer actually crafts the overall vision and plan for a website, right? A web designer's job is more about determining a site's layout, color palette, font sets, and visual themes. He or she actually uses their knowledge of color theory and tools to create mockups, prototyping, templates, and templates when designing a site or application, right? So a web designer actually um, designs every single thing that a front-end developer builds, right? In a normal work setting, right? A designer is to design by the front-end developer is to bring it to life. So one thing about the web designers is that a web designer actually pays attention to how their UX designs and visual elements impact users as well as the website look and feel. And after checking all this, putting, into, putting all this into consideration, they hand off their design to the front-end developer to bring it to life using code, using um, programming languages like JavaScript and markup languages like HTML, and of course, um, style languages like CSS. Right, so the front-end developer actually puts it into, like it, the front-end developer brings the designs to life by using um, HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. And of course, JavaScript frameworks or CSS frameworks, if you or she likes, but the business is the HTML, CSS, and JavaScript, right? Now, since we know who a front-end developer is and who a designer is, let's really make it clear the difference between a designer and a developer, right? So a designer actually hands off is designed to a front-end developer to code. A front-end developer takes the plan and layout provided by the web designer and uses coding languages like HTML, CSS, and JavaScript, and then turns the design into live functioning websites or web application. Now from this, it is very, very clear that both of them are necessary and have equally important roles in building a website or any software, right? However, both of them acquires different skill sets, right? So a designer works with the visual designs of a website and creates the overall look and feel of it, while a developer uses the knowledge of programming and coding to breathe life into the designer's creative vision, right? Now, let's talk about why developers need designers in the first place. I mean, you might want to ask like, why can't 
developers just do the design themselves and just, you know, build the website? Or why can't developers just start building a website and design as, as they could, right? Now, I need you to understand that in, when it comes to projects, right? Project design is actually a very crucial stage in a project life cycle because it identifies key elements and sets the overall tone, right? So the purpose of a design process is to shape and guide your work and thoughts to improve the outcome, right? So just the way you have anything being successful, like the way you plan for something to be successful, that is the way, that is like the same way um, the designs are very, very important, right? Because if you start coding as your design, like if you start designing as your coding, it's just like you're doing something scattered. Like, you know, you're not arranged, you don't have a plan. You don't have a plan, just like the way you want to build a house, right? You have to have a plan for the house. That's the same way you have to have a design for the websites you are building. So it, it shapes your work, right? It helps you improve the outcome. Now, when it comes to having that design, when it comes to having that design, the thing is that that will be like a lot of work for a developer, right? So the developer is just supposed to focus on the coding aspect, learn how to code, right? Learn how to implement things using code, right? And not focus on how to add colors, like how to combine colors and all those kind of stuff. That is another work on its own, right? And when it comes to designing, it's not just carry one color and mix it up together. You have to learn the act of design, right? You have to learn the act of design and then you have to make some research, right? So designers actually find out who your customers are, how they behave and how they think. Some designers even create personals, right? To better represent these people, right? To better represent these people, so like, they have them in mind when they are creating these designs, right? So that's a lot of research work, right? So we need a separate group of persons to do that. So you see, that is why developers need designers. So we need designers to plan out the whole stuff, sketch it out, put their, their, their skills into use, right? Sketch all these things out, draft out the plan for the website, how it should look like, the colors, the fonts, where a particular image should be, draft it out and then give it to us as developers and then we'll replicate it, right? So you can see the importance of a designer there. The truth is that if a designer and a developer work together on projects from start to finish, the result is a more cohesive web project with great aesthetics, great interface and a very clean code, right? There's actually less work and rework during the collaborative process. It's most times leads to a project being completed in less time, right? And, and that, that's actually logical, right? Because if you, as a developer, is doing the work of a designer, it's going to take more time compared to when you have a designer draft everything out and hands it over to you. It's like fastens the process and improves the outcome. Yeah. So, now we have two sets of persons, right? With the same goal, working on something, right? So the designer is working on the designs, the developer is implementing it, and both of them have the same goals. The goal is to help the user enjoy the site, right? Or enjoy the application, right? Is to have this user, this good user experience, right? So the developer creates the user-friendly design from scratch, and then the front-end developer implements the design, but then, when it comes to collaborating, that is when it comes to working together, right? There can be challenges. There can be challenges, right? And there can be challenges, right? So yeah, first thing you have to you have to also realize that um on every standard team, right? There's a designer and a developer, right? On every standard team, we have a designer and a developer, right? So both of them working together to see how um the products can be perfect. Right. So when they're working together, there's always challenges, right? There are always challenges. I mean, and this both um these groups are working together. We have different challenges. For example, a, 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 a designer might complain that the implementation that the um that the, the implementation of the developer actually doesn't match, 
is our design, right? But the designer may even feel misunderstood when a developer actually rejects a particular design, right? Now, a developer too might take for granted the fact that designers have some technical knowledge about how the web works, right? Or a developer might also even feel that, ah, these designers, they are too picky, right? Things like this can cause like issues, right? These are the challenges that we come in contact with that we face, right? When it comes to collaborating, right? Now, how can we then collaborate successfully? We all first of all need to recognize that it is beyond fidelity and consistency, right? It is all about, it is, it is about the sum of, it's about the sum of all the parts working together, right? It is actually cohesion. We have to embrace it and do our best to accomplish it, right? The websites, applications that we're building will be displayed on a wide range of screen sizes, right? Different people from all over the world are going to use them on multiple devices, right? Our common goal is to create a familiar and great user experience across their journey. So we have the same goal. We have to put that at the back of our brain, right? And we have the same goal. So we need to just make it work. We need to embrace collaboration. Now, how can we embrace collaboration, right? Now, a designer, first of all, you have to understand that some that they're like different type of designers, right? Some designers can actually can actually think that anything can be built, right? On the uh, can be can be can be built, right? Without giving the browser compatibility thoughts, right? That is just designing without considering what the browser can take, right? Why some some designers they feel that they may just assume that something cannot be implemented on the browser without fully fully getting fully fully knowing what the browser can take, right? They may just assume that, right? So sometimes we need to like come in and help them know the possibilities of web design, right? We need to help them know the possibilities of web design and for us to let them know the possibilities of web design, possibilities of the browser, like the compatibilities of the of technologies, right? We have to also keep up to date. There's this, like we, we have to we have to keep our knowledge up to date in terms of existing technologies, right? Now, when it comes to when we're, when we're going through designs, definitely questions will come up, like questions will pop up. It's, it's unavoidable, right? When we are when we have questions to ask. We don't want to start complaining about the designer's mistake or about how the designers are too ambitious. We don't want to do that, right? We, we need to understand that the designers are not actually there to drive us crazy. We have a common goal, right? So we need to be patient and embrace collaboration as a way of learning, right? So we want to actually communicate, communicate clearly, right? We want to, we want to, we want to strive to realize the designer's vision as closely as possible while explaining trade-offs and limitations of various approaches, right? So for example, if you have, if you are given a design to implement and it's something that you can't do based on valid reasons, obviously, right? You want to make it clear to the designer. You want to communicate clearly to the designer why this thing is not possible and possibly suggest something that you can implement that is very, very close to that um, stuff that you cannot implement, right? So our communication needs to be very, very clear, right? So one thing also that we need to consider, we need to also like ask questions. We need to ask detailed questions before, while, and after producing each major, each major con um, component in a design. So you're working on a project, like before you start working on it, ask questions, understand the whole thing, understand what you're meant to do, like understand the whole design concept, right? You have to understand it very, very well. Even at the, at, the, at, the, at the long run, you start asking questions. You start, you start repeating stuff, right? Because you didn't fully understand, understand the design when you started. And then you now have to like go back when you fully understand. So instead of that kind of stuff, which will even lead to, which will even lead to the work taking more time, we actually want to ask detailed questions, right? Before we start. And then while we are, while we are working on the designs, implementing it, we want to see ask questions, and then after implementing it, we want to see ask questions. Like after you implement a major store, a major component in the design, ask questions and like that. With questions, you actually collaborate more to achieve the end goal, right? So now, 
after implementing a design, right? After implementing a design, if you are told that the implementation is not perfect, we don't want to get angry. Like, don't get angry because when you're when you're being told that your implementation is not perfect, well, we all have a common goal. We want to see that the user, the user experience is good, right? The user actually enjoys the application or website, right? So when you're told that your implementation is not perfect, you want to, you have to put your ego aside, right? And show them that you actually recognize their hard work in refining the final results, right? You want to put your ego aside and accept correction. And the truth is that when you are willing to learn from the design team, you are also learning different ways of thinking, right? Now, yeah, you're working with the designer. The designer is also working on the design continuously, right? So from time to time, the designer, designer, the, the, the designer right, might come up with new, with, with new ideas from time to time, right? Might come up, come up with updates and changes. Okay, remove this, we want this in, in, in place of that. Or okay, we want to have a new future, right? These are changes that happen when you're working with the design team, right? You want to embrace it. You want to ask questions to fully understand why the need of a replacement. Or you want to ask questions to fully understand the new future that has been added, right? Ask questions, fully understand it, and get to work. Implement it, right? So if we work this way, we collaborate this way, right? We see that everything will actually be a win-win. We as the developers will be happy. The designers will be happy. And of course, the user, which is the main, the, 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 the end goal, the main focus will also be very, very happy, right? So this is all about um, collaborating with the designers, right? So yeah, I hope um, this tutorial actually added to your wealth of knowledge. Thank you very, very much.